I feel so nervous. I'm just having a conversation though with you, so I shouldn't be nervous. Yeah, so it's fine. <laughs> My name is Susanna Murray, but most people call me Susie or Susie or Nice, and I'm a full time figure skater and content creator. I started skating when I was about like three, hated it, hated falling, didn't start skating again until I was eight, but I was in a nice rink since I was a day old because my older brother skates, so I kind of grew up with skating. That's all I know if I live and breathe it. <laughs> I skate because I love every minute of it. I love performing, the training, the competing, and I just wouldn't change it for the world. Okay. I got really badly injured in 2018. I went to Colorado Springs to learn my double axel because I couldn't do it. And I spent about three weeks there, landed my double axel, everything was great. And I came back and it was on my 18th birthday and I fell on a double axel and kind of fell backwards and just snapped like my hamstring. And the injury lasted about two years because I just kept going back and re-injuring it again. I've always felt a lot of pressure to land my double axel. It kind of separates you from the rest of the group. Everyone's kind of on the same level and that double axel is going to take you to that like kind of podium level. Everything leading up was like so good for placement at a potential national medal and it just kind of all went. I started TikTok actually when I was injured from my hamstring. I, I just posted a video from when I was in Colorado just like of steps, basic things, nothing too serious. It went like viral overnight and it got like half a million views and then it just kind of like rolled from there and then here I am today. <laughs> I feel like I need to represent myself well because it has an influence on such young people and I feel like I need to be in a sense like a role model for them but at the same time I want to show them like the realness of skating and like the falling and the good days and the bad days along with like everything else I post. You can be like a normal person and then you can still like achieve all these things like within your sport. I have felt pressure to look a certain way within figure skating because a lot of the time it's this kind of model I feel like over figure skater needs to be tiny and quite petite. When I seen these people like doing well at Olympics I thought that was what my body type and everything needed to look like for me to achieve those things when that's not the case and being strong and healthy it makes you so much better as an athlete. I wanted to share my journey of my eating disorder recovery because it was a huge step for me. When I was younger, I never thought I would get to that point where I'd be able to say that I've spent a year in recovery now. People like me that felt like they didn't really have anyone to look up to in that sense can then see, okay, she's managed to kind of get over that kind of hurdle and start the progress of like recovery. I want people to know that they are capable of doing it. I don't feel like mental health body image has ever talked about enough in skating. Not until very, very recently, more skaters who are retired are starting to come out and be open about the eating disorders they've had or mental illnesses and struggles they've had throughout the sport. But I think it's something that needs to be highlighted like so, so much more. I discovered that I was queer probably like very at a very young age. I, it's one of those things that I feel like I always kind of knew, but it took for me until like two years ago for me to like fully like come out. And in a sense I'm glad like I had that kind of pass with boyfriends to kind of show this like transition online and that it's okay to do that. I think it is isolating to be like more so lesbian. Gay guys and skating is a lot more popular than it is to be a girl and to be gay or bisexual. So I feel like when it first started to think I circulate that I was bisexual and then all like came out as gay, I felt like all eyes were on me. There's not many us around so <laughs> it's not a nice feeling to be in and I just want to kind of get rid of that like stigma you're not an alien inside that world yeah it was very liberating to come out it was scary at the same time because I didn't know how people were going to react I mean my coaches and everything like that as my brother and my sister-in-law and they never even asked they just had they had met my girlfriend loved her it was like that everyone at skating accepts me for who I am and also like my girlfriend she comes in all the time and everyone's great with it. I'm very lucky to be in a position and in a rink that's so loving and understanding. 
My highest point in skating is probably reaching the British Championships because I've been multiple times to that and that's something as a young skater I always wanted to achieve because I've seen my brother constantly go there and so to then be in the position that he was is amazing. Last week I went to the British Qualifier in Sheffield so I've been out of that kind of circuit of going to nationals and stuff since I got injured and since then I've been like kind of scrambling my way back to being where I was before. It was actually my first outing for my new short program as well which is inspired by my brother. Uh, the song's called Brother by Codeline and um, the dress and everything is inspired by him. I have like a kind of a spray paint round about my left arm to match the print of his tattoo. It's all about the if I was struggling and everything, he would be the one to rescue me. He has been that person that's always been like kind of like the person who has rescued me through it all. So. My future in skating, at the moment I want to keep competing, there's a lot of things like I still want to like tick off of my list, jumps and elements and I want to get to nationals again, potentially like international circuits again. I would be happy with that, get some good triples out of the way and everything. Probably going to coach for a while, I've started my coaching already and then after I've kind of retired I would love to go and maybe do like the ice shows or Disney on Ice. I would love to be at the ice show for Cirque du Soleil, that's like my ultimate dream. The biggest lesson that I've learned in skating is that how resilient I can be and how strong I can be mentally and physically and that having the setbacks, the injuries and everything doesn't take away from the athlete that you are, it just makes you stronger. It shapes you into being a good person and a strong person. Cute, that's a nice <laughs> answer.